buddy, Hard Body Harrison. Yeah, what about him? Look, look at my buddy. Do you know Hard Body Harrison won the biggest tough man contest on television? I didn't know that. Then why are you putting him on TV Again, and don't even producer. know anything about that it? That was the producer. Did you know Hard Body Harrison when they were having the tough man contests on, I can't remember what station it was, USA, something like that, and they had these weekly tough man shows. Do you know Hard Body Harrison won the whole thing? And now you want to try to talk about no, it. I, I, That's what you did. Just you want to try to talk about it. Hard Body Harrison was a real deal. Did you know that? Well, now, now, I know that you bring that up, and, and I have a piece of – thank you, Mr. Producer. I have a piece of information here that I think, I think that you might find very interesting. This is an article from November 22nd of 2007. Uh, Wait a minute. Don't try to news. bring up – don't try to bring up the man's ill will and act as though I don't know anything about it. I know everything about it. I'm trying to get you straight on the man's credentials. I don't want to hear anything about the man went to jail for – this, that, and the other, and he's probably still in jail. But I'm not here to say anything about that. I'm not here I'm to step on somebody's throat just because they made a mistake. I'm not going to do that. Holding eight women as sex slaves is just a mistake? Look, anybody. This is from Fox News. Anybody can make a mistake like that. Anybody could accidentally <laughs> hold seven to eight <laughs> women hostage if you don't know the door is locked in the back. You wouldn't know that. That could happen to anyone. That could actually happen to you if you happen to ever have yes. seven to eight I, women I, I in it. your home. I it very it, you, you don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> so don't try to act like you do and try to uh, lock them in the back. You don't know what you'd do if you had eight, eight beautiful women. I don't know if they were beautiful. I'm just assuming. No. Eight beautiful women in your home and you don't want the ecstasy to stop. That can happen to you, and you don't know what you would do. Who knows what you, So don't try to put the man on blast. Don't try to put his business in the street. Why, don't you, why, didn't, why didn't you address what I told you about the uh, contest, the tough man contest? Why didn't you get the producer to bring you that? Uh, yeah, it just came in my lap. Yeah, you did just didn't. right there. Yeah, yeah, know? no, no, no. I'm, you know? why, why didn't you get him to confirm what I was talking about? Well, I'm why sure, didn't you do that? I'm sure. Because you wanted to try to make mince meat out of the man. You want to try to low rate him. You want to try to talk about him. Just like I said when this show first started, how you trying to disrespect these people. No, you choose the most. To, you choose the most disparaging thing to say about a man Dwayne that Gill, Fox News say he went to jail know, for holding people hostage. Listen. You don't know. You know. Do you know that thing credible? Fox News. Actually, credible. Well, I'm pretty really? sure Hardbody Harrison's still in prison for holding eight women as sex slaves. How do you know that? Because if you're holding eight women for sex, how do you know it's true? Then you're how, convicted how you know, of it. How do you know he didn't? How you know he didn't go to jail? How you know he didn't go to court and beat the rap? Mr. Producer, did he beat the rap? You know, how you know he didn't go and beat the rap? <laughs> how do you know that? You don't know that. You don't know anything about Hardbody. Okay. Hardbody has rolled up the down the road with me. Yes, he had some, you know dysfunctional attributes about him. Yes, I'll say that. No, and that's things that Stevie wouldn't Stevie Ray wouldn't be involved with. But that's just me. I'm not involved in a lot of things that professional wrestling does. But if that's what he did, hey, if he paid the price, hey, he gotta do what he gotta do. You know what I'm saying? He gotta do the time. If he did the crime, he gotta do the time. Yeah. But Hardbody Harrison was a very good wrestler at one time. Hardbody Harrison was a tough man champion. Why don't you look that up? I'm sure he was. No, you don't. How are you gonna be sure of that? I'm sure Because I said it you haven't taken anything I said with great assault since we started okay, this conversation. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In the year 2000, Hard Body Harrison also appeared in a tough man competition with broadcast from 1999 to 2001 on FX. The show was named Tough Man. In the year 2000, he was the show's heavyweight champion. And then seven years later, he was convicted for holding eight women hostage as sex slaves. You know, it's so. funny how the news can just go out of their way to try to make someone look bad. I don't think it was <laughs> as I don't I don't think it was as 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 terrible as the news made it. Do up. you think he used Sex. roadblocks to, to, how to can prevent one, them from leaving? How can one guy hold seven women hostage? He was how a tough that? man winner. I mean, he was a tough man winner. You said it yourself. It of seems course like I an said intimidating it. presence. Seems like that, huh? Y yes. Yeah, based on what? Based on the fact he was a tough man winner. Okay, you're a tough man. I'm still talking yeah. about eight women. Yeah. You telling me why he why he's being tough on one, the other seven can't run out the door? If only Zan Panzer had been there to save them.
You know, you know it would have been so different. There you go again. Yeah. There you go again, being disrespectful. <laughs> there you go again. I'm not. If Zan Panzer was right here, right now, you wouldn't say that. No, of course not. I would invite him to sit down. And, well, and then why you didn't? You, oh, you're going to be respectful for, to him if I he's mean, in your presence? I'm not. But if he's not in your presence, you're not going to be respectful? I mean, what kind of? Come on. No, I'm being And you're very trying to do hard by the Harrison the same way. I want to know respectful. why can't you talk about the man and his credentials in the ring? Why can't you talk about the man and his credentials as a tough man uh, – Competitor, you want to bring up something like that's just like this kid Mixon from the uh, Oklahoma, the kid that punched the girl in the face four years ago, and they still want him to talk about it to this day. The man has already paid the price. What do you think about that? I think it's a pretty big deal if you punch a woman in the face. I mean, I, four years ago. Yes, I think it's. So a you big telling deal. me four years ago, all the questions today. haven't been asked since then? Well, I mean, I, I think you can ask the same question over and over and over again. Why? And get the same answer. Oh, I'm just saying they have every right to ask the question because he punched her in the face. You know, just like Hard Body Harrison did something that was unspeakable, at least according to Fox News Wait a and minute. the court record. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Now, yes. No, we got to get this straight right yeah. now. Okay. You think – they should ask the man the same questions over and over and over again. He has made amends with the young lady. He has been suspended from the team for a year. Now he's trying to start a new chapter in his life, and you still want him to ask the question. What would be your well, question? Well, no, well, hold on, I hold wouldn't on. Ask him the question. You know, no, no. What would be the question? Since you want to stand up for the media, <laughs> what would be the question if you was asking this man something? What would be your first question to him? I wouldn't ask him the question. I'm simply saying the media has the right to ask him That's the question. not what I asked you. Yeah. Since you agree with them, yeah. what would be your question if you was in the media, which you are? I would say my first, my first question would be, what's your 40 time? Now you're lying. <laughs> now you're lying. You know, <laughs> That's, now you, is that not important, too? No, you should already know that. If you were in the combine, it's yeah. over. His pro day well, is over. I don't know what over. his 40 time is. Well, you wouldn't know. If you was in the media, you yeah. would know. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. I, I, I don't know, though. That's what, that's, why I would, that's what I would ask him. Okay, if you him. did know that, yeah. what would be your first question? Okay, my first question would be, what's your vertical? You know, you get sad about a minute. You get sad about, you get sad about a day. This is, this is beyond any sane man comprehension. Okay. You know, you just said the media should, the media should be able to ask him whatever they want, when they want. But then you're going to, hey, what's your vertical? You know? And that's why he should come out there and karate chop you right on your carotid artery and make your blood pressure and everything stop as you lay in a puddle of fifth. That's what would happen to you if I was Joe Nixon. Wow. Mixon, rather. I, I wish Joe Nixon the best of luck. Now you don't. Yes. Don't lie. You, just, you would do him just like Hard Body Harrison. Well, I was just reporting. If Hard Body Harrison got out of jail tomorrow and I had him to call into this podcast. Yes. What would you say to him? I, my first question would be, how was prison? How disrespectful is I that? Mean, I mean, how question. disrespectful is that? What do, you, what do you mean, how is prison? How is prison? In what, what context is it? Well, how you, does it compare to holding eight women in your house? <laughs> that would be my question. You're beyond pathetic, man. That's, okay. that's that's just disrespectful, man. How is prison? Is it beyond the eight women that you held hostage? I mean, really, brother? I mean, really? I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, I mean come on. Oh, man. This man could have got railroaded for all we know. <laughs> well, Maybe he didn't have enough money to get proper representation. Do you ever think about that? It's possible. Well, you didn't bring it up. But it's unlikely. All right, this okay. okay. Next, <laughs> okay. Ne next subject. <laughs> next subject. 